Cody Osmond from FrontierLife.net. Uh, we have a kind of cold and, and rainy day here in western Nebraska. I was going to come inside, build a fire, and thought it'd be a nice day to shoot one of the videos from the Jimmy Fletcher Ride to Rendezvous book. So this is the how to make a market wallet uh, tutorial video, so it's going to be real brief and just give you the basics of how to do it. So that way, if that's one of the extensions that you'd like to do, you go ahead and know how to do it. So stick around, I'll show you what you need to do this project. Okay, uh, so here is a shot of all the materials you're going to need. I have a piece of canvas, I have needle and thread, I have an awl right there that I made out of a nail and a pair of scissors. Um, on the canvas, I cut mine and I am 18 inches um, across and I'm 30 inches long. Now the thing that you need to remember is that when you cut it across, going this way, you actually want it to, to cut it twice as wide as you want it to be uh, when you actually have one. So um, I, you can see here I had one and I think I had cut it at or put it at 12 inches first. I made a line um, and I decided that 6 inches was going to be a little bit too narrow for what I wanted. Uh, so I just went and extended it um, and that way it would be a little bit wider when it's all done. So um, now I'll show you how to start putting it together. Okay, uh, so now we're going we're gonna to get started on our market wallet. Um, as you can see, i got my fabric here. Again, it's just an old piece of canvas. Um, and when you lay it down in front of you, when you start working on it, you want to you work on it inside out. So this is the side that I'm going to want to have out uh, when it's finally done. So I want to start with it like this. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take one side, I'm going to fold it halfway in, like that. I'm going to take the other side and meet it. And then I'll just try to get them as close to about half as I can. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is, now that i got it folded, I'm going to go along the top edge here. And I'm going to just do a whip stitch. And then I'm going to go around the bottom here and do the same thing. So I'm going to reset the camera and show you how to do a whip stitch. Um, because that's what we'll need. Okay. Uh, so now I've got things reset and again, I'm just going to go along the top here and I'm just going to start sewing with a whip stitch. Now I have this, this uh, nail that I said I filed into an awl. You can kind of see uh, the point there. And awls were just used and are used to, to sew through material that's too thick to pre-punch a hole when you're sewing through material that's too thick for a needle. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my awl, I'm going to come in about a quarter or a half inch, it's going to Press down, I'm going to make a hole. I'm going to come in with my thread that I have doubled because it is kind of light. Um, you know, it's not historically accurate, but again, just trying to show you that you can, you don't necessarily need all that stuff to, to get started with projects like this. As you get, you know, more refined, uh, then you'll want to get some historically accurate thread. But So now I just, I'm going through, I just want to make a square knot here. I just made one, two, three, four, and I'll do one more. Uh, I always kind of overdo my, my knots here um, just because I don't want them to come on tight. All right, so I got five square knots in there. Uh, now I'm just going to continue with my awl, and I'm just going to continue making holes about a quarter inch apart. Push down. There we go. And now when I make my whip stitch, I just want to always come in. It's a really simple stitch. I just want to always come in on the same side. So I come in on the bottom side there on that one. And coming on the top side, it don't really matter. Uh, but every time my needle comes in, I want it to come through the bottom side of the fabric. You can use a, a modern machine if you want to, a sewing machine, if you don't want to do this. Uh, I hand sew a lot. Um, just one of those things with all the projects that I've done and my interests, that uh, hand sewing just is one of those things that you find yourself doing a lot. It's tedious. It takes a lot of time, 
Um, but it was really something that, you know, sewing was something that people had to know how to do. There we go. So I'm just going to shut off the video now, but I'm just going to continue poking holes uh, all the way down and doing a whip stitch all the way across. Then I'll turn my market wallet around and I'll do the other side and then I'll show you how to do the other seam. So, Okay, uh, so now you can see I got both ends of this bag sewn up. Now what I need to do is I need to start on this center seam here. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in about, oh, a third of the way. And that's where I'm going to start my seam. You can see here I got quite a bit more over here left. So about a third of the way in, I'm going to come in. Um, and I've got to turn my wallet now. There you go. I got to turn it now this way. Um, and I'm going to start here here towards the middle I'm going to work towards the outside. Again um, I'm just going to use a whip stitch um, and then I'm going to start here and work back towards where I've already sewn. So I'm going to do that on this side, flip it over um, and then I'm going to sew, I'm going to come in another third from the bottom and then I'm going to work back towards the edge that I've sewn and I'll show you what it looks like after we've done that. Okay um, so now you can see here that I have this end sewn up. So this first, I sewed this. I came in another third, and I sewed this all the way to this end here. So uh, now, come, and I just have a hole in the middle here, and that's pretty important to how the market wallet works. Uh, now all you got to do is you reach in, and then you just turn the whole bag. Oh, there's one side. Now I come in and I'll just turn the other side real quick. There we go. Get that corner turned. That's it. That's the market wallet. So uh, let me show you how to use it. Okay. So now we have our market wallet made, it's all sewn up, uh, it's been turned and now it's ready to use. So how would you use it? Uh, let's just pretend I was going on a, on a day hike and I needed to bring a few things. Let's say I wanted to bring some rope. Uh, I would take my rope, I would put it through the hole, and I would put it through to the other end. And I have another length here. Uh, these are just some random things that I had kind of laying around. So I'd put one on one side, one on the other. Uh, I want to bring some extra moccasins in case mine get wet or get a hole torn in them or whatever. I'm going to put one in that side and I'm going to put one in this side. Alright, fire kit. I'm going to go in there and then I have some shop making. If I wanted to go out and do some of that, I'll put that stuff in the other side. Uh, maybe a spare silk rag or scarf um, would go in there. So now all I have to do, you see I got this hole in there, so if I just carry it uh, just like it is, you know, you run the risk of things falling out. Move up here. If you just carry it like this, you run the risk of everything uh, falling out. So all you do is you take it like that, and then you twist it, and now it'll stay shut, and you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything uh, falling out. So that is the market wallet. All right. Well, that wraps up our how to build a market wallet tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful. Uh, again, if you're interested in living history, I would suggest you take it out and then you do the day hike with it and see, see how it goes. Um, mountain men, long hunters, frontiersmen, they all carried these and they were limited uh, by what they could fit in there, what they could carry, just as you or I will be. So, uh, If you're reading Jimmy Fletcher, Ride to Rendezvous, hopefully this extension video gives you a little better insight into how with the characters in the story had to, had to deal with. 
Uh, if you're into living history, hopefully this will be a good tutorial to help you practice some skills of the frontiersmen of the past. So, again, this is Cody from FrontierLife.net. Thank you for checking this video out, and have a great day.